thank you everyone for arriving early and I'm sure more people will join us. My name is Sharon and I'm the host, a moderator of one of the hosts and the moderator. Today, welcome to the virtual Marxist library. Um, we, we always start exactly on time and we, the a formal part of our program will go until 1230 Pacific time. And then we will have a half an hour of more um, open discussion. Less moderated, I guess, is the best way to describe that part. So um, I want to turn over the program now to Mehmet, who will say some introductory words about today's subject and then introduce our speaker. Please go uh, ahead, Mehmet. Thank you very much, uh, Sharon. And uh, thank you, uh, everybody, for coming today. Uh, I really believe that the left movement in Turkey is very interesting. Uh, but when you come to uh, realize that the left movements had actually started in Ottoman Empire, as today's speaker Yusuf Gürsey is going to explain, I believe. But uh, it really took effect. This, these are my personal views on it, and everybody in Turkey has different views on this, of course. Uh, in, in Turkey, uh, they, there are about uh, uh, what uh, almost near the population of Turkey views on any subject. <laughs> <laughs> right. As one, one very uh, prominent writer, he, he was kind of like liberal on the left, had said, uh, Turks uh, don't know anything, but they have an idea about everything. So, <laughs> uh, but uh, the left is a very, very deep subject in Turkey, as uh, especially uh, as we're going to see today from our speaker, it has roots all the way back in, 19, uh, in, uh, in 19th century and in Ottoman Empire. The biggest, I believe, biggest uh, discussions that we have seen in Turkey is, as if we were to itemize them, number one, today's uh, uh, question is going to be the relationship to Mustafa Kemal and Mustafa Kemal's so-called revolution. The reason why this becomes important is that left has spent much of their time on discussing on whether uh, these should be supported or not. What happened in 1923? And the official Turkish history always gives us that 1923 and uh, the war before that is an, uh, a liberation move with the bourgeoisie uh, winning and that completed the bourgeois revolution. But of course, this is up for discussion at each level. And very recently, uh, these also came into discussion among the left. We have all, we all came from the tradition of accepting the official history. But uh, even uh, recently, there are some other discussions that the bourgeois revolution in, in the Turkey Ottoman you know, uh, uh, process had actually started in 1908 revolution, way back in the Ottoman Empire. And many believe that that revolution was much more democratic than the ones we had seen in, in uh, or after 1923. So this brings into question the discussion about uh, the modern Turkey, what it is and how the left viewed it. Uh, especially after 1960s, the left, uh, we can see that followed the world lines of one being the China line, the, and I'm going to put the, uh, some of the Albanian uh, you know, lines in this, in this uh, uh, approach. The other one was the Soviet Union, following the Soviet Union uh, ideology of how social, or what socialism is and revolution. And the third line was the so-called independent left that were neither, that could be classified neither in the Chinese uh, path or the Soviet Union path. And there are, of course, many variants of this, but the discussions, I, I personally would look at it as uh, uh, 
what the left did in in Turkey, what they did on the ground. So I'm sure that today's speaker Yusuf Yursay is well versed in these, and it's a monumental task to take and to uh, say it in one hour. So I'm going to leave uh, it to Yusuf to uh, come up with uh, analysis of all this and who was what and who did what to bring us to this level. Because in 1980, I really believe that Turkey was in a civil war and was, uh, I guess, inching its way into a revolution. And of course, that word revolution is very, very uh, uh, in, uh, interesting. And I have been saying that in ICSS, we definitely should have a session on the theory of revolution, because this is where the left uh, gets dif uh, differentiated between itself. Uh, what, uh, how do people look at the revolution? What revolutions are appropriate for what geographies and what historical context? So there are many theories. And I, I really believe that uh, Yusuf also and other comrades would participate in a very uh, informative session called the theory of revolution. And today we're going to see that these are going to come into uh, our discussion as we are talking about the, uh, you know, the left in Turkey. So Yusuf, please uh, go ahead and please, first of all, introduce yourself and your past and uh, go ahead with the big subject. Thank you. I'm, my name is Yusuf Gürsey. Uh, my father, I, I was a, I'm a retired uh, physicist uh, by a profession and my uh, father was a well-known uh, physicist and in, in, in the strategic uh, location of Middle East Technical University where many uh, were uh, the uh, uh, leftist uh, upheaval, uh, 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 mostly Marxist uh, upheavals uh, 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 took place, uh, especially uh, uh, we, we 19, uh, after 1967, uh, uh, and uh, 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 the students, our uh, stu uh, my mother was also a professor, uh, and the students would come, uh, we, we'd have open house, and uh, although it, it was originally maybe to encourage them into physics, uh, 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 as in Turkey, everything uh, uh, goes into politics, and uh, I'd sort of, uh, uh, and uh, due to some quirks, uh, many of the principal left wing uh, 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 leaders, emerging left wing leaders, were uh, uh, happened to be uh, in, in the physics department. Uh, so I think a bird's eye view of the, uh, while I was a teenager, I, uh, I had a bird's eye view of uh, the disputes uh, uh, among the left. Uh, uh, and uh, uh, I was uh, mostly a listener then, and, and, and later I, uh, I learned from them. Uh, I, uh, I, I myself I got into uh, politics, I got interested in politics. Uh, through a uh, student of my father's who was uh, Lebanese and he uh, exhorted the Palestinian cause uh, uh, just uh, on the eve of 1967. Uh, uh, and uh, we, that uh, year we returned to Turkey. I, my childhood was going back and forth between the United States and and Turkey, uh, and there I found that the uh, the leftist students were the most uh, uh, supportive of the Palestinian cause, and that uh, just simple nationalism was not uh, enough to solve the uh, problem. And I got um, uh, acquainted with uh, Marxism-Leninism. My father uh, uh, had read Capital uh, uh, when he was young. Uh, he, he himself was not never politically involved. He was basically very scared of the police. Uh, uh, but uh, he, he, he was very open. Uh, uh, so that's how I know. I also, um, uh, uh, last year, I met a, a uh, 
uh, academic and a, a communist from China to uh, Wadi Halabi, uh, who was assigned the uh, history of the communist party, the CPUSA. And uh, it turns out uh, 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 of all continents, uh, the, the Communist Party of Turkey and other uh, uh, communist movements, and he, had, he, he knew next to nothing about Turkey. Uh, uh, he had met very few people and uh, 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 the people met are now in somewhat a, a peripheral in, in terms of, uh, they're close to China, they, they were historically very close to China, that's how he met them, but they, they're now very marginal on the left, they're not even counted on the left, they've become so nationalist. Uh, so. Uh, I'm re referring to Do Perinchek uh, group, Vatan Party, uh, in case you're wondering. And so I uh, explained to him a, a broader view uh, through my emails, and uh, I hope uh, uh, he, he will get this recording. Uh, 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 I, I wanted to make a superficial introduction to the pre-1960 uh, events, but uh, the uh, pre-1960 events were very interesting. Um, and, and, and also I want to give some background about Turkey because many people don't know too much about Turkey. Uh, it's, uh, it has a foreign policy uh, quite uh, a, uh, since uh, the end of World War II, uh, following that of the slavishly following that of the United States for a long time, so uh, um, it, 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 it was not on the radar in in, in terms of news in uh, United States. Um, uh, so uh, I'll also give some. Uh, okay, uh, let me. Uh, you now, okay. Uh, let's see. View slide of view slideshow. The window. Mm. Oh, slideshow. Okay. 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 Oh, okay. Uh, if you Oops. want to share, go ahead. Share your yeah, screen. yeah, I want to share, but, but first let me get the uh, PowerPoint. Uh, okay, I'm not very adept. Uh, uh, screen, okay. Okay, so you see something, right? That's good. Okay. Uh, okay, well, I, we, I, until I figure out how to make this, uh, uh, I'll just go on. Okay, I'll, I'll start with very early. Uh, uh, in the 15th century, uh, there was this uh, theologian. It, he, 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 it was a time when the uh, Ottomans had just uh, suffered a, a defeat, uh, a very uh, severe defeat by a, uh, on the hands of Timur. Most of the uh, feudal lords, uh, Turkish feudal lords left the Ottomans for uh, Timur, uh, it was only thanks to uh, the Serbian king that the Ottoman Empire survived. Uh, and there was a, and the Sultan was taken prisoner by uh, Timur and the, the princes uh, fought among themselves. Uh, so it was a time of weakening and uh, a peasant revolt. Uh, and he had a communist uh, uh, philosophy he espoused the communist philosophy. He said uh, people can share the uh, sky, uh, the sun and the moon, the, uh, the light of the sun and the moon, uh, and, uh, and the water. Why can't they share the bread? That was his philosophy. And the, uh, there was a peasant revolt. In the end, the revolt was put down and he was executed. But uh, I'd like to acknowledge, and uh, the communist poet, Nazim Hikmet wrote an ode uh, to this man. Okay, uh, let's see.
Ah, okay. Uh, I, I'm, uh, you could go to the history channel if you want to uh, um, learn more about what happens until uh, the, uh, 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 the end of the 19th century. And at this time, uh, the Ottoman Empire is crumbling. Uh, is the only reason why it um, uh, uh, is still standing is that the uh, imperialist powers, uh, European powers and the Russian empire uh, cannot uh, agree how to uh, uh, pick up the pieces, uh, be to partition it. Uh, and uh, we, we, internally there are uh, re revolts um, uh, uh, and uh, is the oops? So, sorry about that. Uh, okay, uh, this is sort of a very encapsulated um, a version of uh, what goes on the uh, 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 a, uh it's a period of reforms. The, uh, a, there's emerging uh, trade capitalism. Uh, a, well, a, the Ottoman Empire is also in a semi-colonial situation. Uh, uh, the European power, powers, uh, 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 principally France and Britain, have uh, extraterritorial uh, concessions within Turkey. They have their own post offices. Uh, basically, if they have immunity, they could do whatever they want. Uh, I believe in China, uh, there was a sort of a similar situation. Um, uh, and, and the Ottoman Empire uh, 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 wants to uh, modernize its uh, army, uh, its military. And, and, uh, and, and to this, they uh, adopt uh, Western, uh, 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 from the top down, uh, they uh, adopt Western um, modes of organization. Uh, and, and, um, uh, and they open uh, uh, schools and, and they uh, 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 revise the judicial uh, system to make it a uh, more up to date, so we rather ossified in uh, in the Islamic law. So uh, uh, and also the feudal uh, uh, the the feudal lords are also uh, trying to assert. Uh, so there's a, a great uh, upheaval. Uh, the, this. Um, uh, it results uh, in the, uh, the declaration of the a, a constitution, uh, a, 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 a assembly, a, a, a parliament, uh, and uh, very briefly, the Sultan uh, uh, Abdul Hamid II, uh, who promises to uphold the uh, reforms, uh, 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 he uses an, the excuse of uh, the uh, 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 wars in the Balkans to uh, uh, declare martial uh, law to suspend the, uh, 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 the parliament and uh, um, persecute uh, the, uh, uh, the institutors, uh, the, the, the reformists. Uh, he, but at the same time, uh, in order to maintain role, he, he does uh, me, me, me make um, uh, he, he does develop infrastructure and does uh, continue the uh, modernization of the military, which means that uh, less uh, we, we traditional uh, people, more uh, ordinary people get to be educated. Uh, and uh, and there's a development of the bourgeoisie, uh, and uh, and these uh, are uh, to, are uh, in revolt against the uh, the autocracy. Uh, he, he does last quite some time, uh, uh, something like from 1870, 1878 to 
1908. And uh, he's known as the Red Sultan. And, and there's a incident, and he, he goes against the Armenians. Uh, uh, he, 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 because the, um, the nationalities, uh, the, the Ottoman Empire was not particularly uh, interested in Turkifying people or uh, until that time. Uh, it was a, a, a very, it just collected taxes, basically, uh, but it also kept the, uh, the, uh, the other provinces from being uh, developed. And, uh, and, and when they see the world being developed and the Christian population, when they, they trade more with uh, the uh, European powers, they get richer, they develop a bourgeoisie, so they are up in arms. Um, uh, but also the Turkish uh, uh, population also wants their uh, share in this, uh, at the very least uh, uh, to be an intermediary, uh, to be in the position of an intermediary between the uh, foreign capitalists as, as sort of uh, proto-compradors, they're co called Levantines. They, uh, up until that time, it's mostly uh, the uh, Christians and Jews because they have also linguistic skills. The Europeans feel more comfortable dealing with them, So, but the Turks want to share in that uh, 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 as well. Uh, so uh, a, the most... Um, uh, organized the, the, the effective force is the Committee for Union and Progress. It derives its uh, from the mainly from the, the uh, inspiration from um, Auguste Comte uh, and, and takes its name actually from a work by Auguste Comte. Um, um, but uh, the, 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 there's also nationalist uh, elements, Turkish nationalist elements, uh, pan-Turkish uh, uh, elements. Those that want to unite with the Turkic people of the of of uh, the Russian Empire. Uh, uh, but this goes against uh, the multinational character of the Ottoman state because. Uh, up until that time, the Chivi, Turkish language was the language, main language of administration. But other than that, uh, uh, the other nationalities were uh, handling local affairs as they more or less as they wanted. They, it, it, there was the concept of Turkish nationalism uh, until then. Um, the the uh, 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 and incidentally, uh, uh, the, the, the Turks uh, didn't call the, uh, the, their country Turkey. That uh, was an exonym, and it remained uh, some, uh, a, a name given by outsiders. It was true that was the language of administration. Uh, uh, they did the sultans occasionally, uh, particularly when dealing with uh, Asia powers, they did sometimes mention their uh, uh, Turkic roots in Central Asia, but uh, it, that was not important. They, 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 they no other, uh, there was no other Turkish state for them to show their superior, uh, prove their superiority for. Uh, and the, uh, the, the religions more or less were independent as long as the uh, non-Muslims paid taxes, uh, uh, but uh, they didn't work in a bourgeois uh, way uh, even when capitalism developed. Uh, and but the uh, particular the Balkans were in revolt, and the uh, the Balkan uh, the. Uh, uh, mainly the uh, what are now called North Macedon Macedonian nationals. But at that time, they were called Bulgarians, actually. And they, uh, that will open up a whole can of worms, maybe, uh, uh, in terms of contemporary Balkan politics. But uh, 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 the, 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 the Russia was supporting them, and they modeled their revolutionary their organizations from the uh, Narodniks, the populists, uh, left-wing populists in uh, uh, of Russia, uh, and uh, the Turks in revolt. Uh, the Turkish pop 
speaking population of the Balkans was one of the most advanced, most bourgeois. Uh, so uh, the, they uh, imitated uh, the organization and uh, at times uh, the, the, the Turkish revolutionaries would fight the Balkan revolutionaries, but uh, they also uh, sometimes made common cause against the uh, autocracy. And in fact, they had good relations at that time with the Arab patriots, uh, the Armenian patriots, uh, and uh, the, also the Greeks outside of independent Greece. Uh, in fact, a national poet, this is not mentioned in Turkey very much, but what one of the Tefik Fikret was, was con is considered a very nationalist national poet. Uh, at the time, he laments uh, that uh, the, the uh, Armenian revolutionary, Hunchak, Try, uh, was not successful in assassinating the sultan. It, it, the poem is not too explicit because of censorship, uh, but uh, it, I, that's all understood. Uh, so it'd be, uh, um, and 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 the, the if there were socialists, I uh, I uh, it'd be the Kunchak adopted the social democratic pro program, uh, and so the Dashnak. These are the. Armenian revolutionaries who at that time were allied with the uh, 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 with, with the revolutionaries against uh, 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 with the Turkish revolutionaries and officially they were not Turkish they, they were Ottomans but uh, however there was a core that was Turkish nationalist and uh, uh, who they wanted both uh, the Ottoman Empire to be Turkish and be an empire, uh, and that was uh, obviously untenable. Uh, uh, when they got into power, uh, 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 when the autocracy was overthrown in 1908, it was a, in a, a genuine uh, a overhaul of the system. Uh, the, uh, the, for all his notor notoriety, you know, uh, one of the uh, most right-wing and cruel uh, members of the uh, uh, Committee for Union and Progress, Talat was a telegraph clerk, and Ver himself, and and very incidentally, by the way, it was the father is. Uh, is the father of uh, my high school chemistry teacher. Um, uh, he, uh, he was uh, he, uh, educated in the military academies uh, in Germany, and uh, he, he, uh, he rose the ranks. He wasn't not, uh, connected with, with, with the, the old feudal uh, connections. Uh, and, and, and these people, uh, in 1908, when they came for a very brief period, there was a very, uh, uh, very uh, democratic and, and, and very um, uh, uh, pluralistic uh, with, uh, in terms of uh, uh, freedom of speech, the censorship was uh, lifted. Um, uh, and that uh, allowed a more uh, uh, more uh, ideas from the West, like socialism, to come. Uh, one of the well, they adopted the a, a, a nationalist program. Now, one of the um, okay, uh, this is how the first Congress of the Committee for Union Progress. Now, this character is a very. Uh, interesting character. Uh, he, 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 he was a Jewish uh, social democrat from Minsk. Uh, his, um, his program was to uh, fight uh, the, uh, the, the Tsar with, uh, using any means possible. Uh, and, and that uh, for him meant aligning with the enemies of Russia and also encouraging the minorities of Russia, 
including the Turkic minorities, uh, uh, to revolt. And he, he, he sought uh, refuge in, uh, yeah, he was not such a good guy, but uh, uh, in the end, uh, very interesting. Um, uh, uh, maybe, but he was a social democrat, and uh, he he spent time in Salonika, uh, that's Thessaloniki, uh, Greece, but was under Ottoman rule. Uh, but but also had a large Turkish population, uh, uh, and uh, one of the first strikes was there, and uh, he was one of the people that uh, spread uh, 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 socialist uh, ideas. Uh, he, he, but he also encouraged uh, the uh, Turkish nationalism of the Committee for Union of Progress because uh, um, in their pipe dream, they were to unite with the Turkic people in the Russian Empire. Uh, and that would be for him the end of Sardom. Uh, so he, uh, he, he encouraged them, but they also brought in some of socialist ideas. And uh, I must say that the uh, Committee of Union and Progress adopt, had adopted the uh, organization of the, uh, 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 the Balkan, Slavic Balkan revolutionaries. Uh, uh, it, it, it was organized with the Central Committee and Political Bureau, very familiar um, terminology. Um, uh, and as I said, for a while, there was a honeymoon between the nationalities. Here are uh, uh, the quote unquote Bulgarian, uh, if I call them, Bul uh, they were called Bulgarians at the time, um, uh, uh, revolutions from uh, uh, around Skopje, uh, uh, Uskup. Uh, uh, which also had a large Turkish population. And uh, here uh, uh, they are together with the, uh, uh, with, with the Turkish revolutionaries in a very brief uh, honeymoon. And uh, uh, here is another uh, multinational. Um, uh, this is uh, the first Turkish language. It's called Shirak. It means uh, participation in Arabic. In, in, in modern Arabic, Shirakia is used for socialism. And here um, it's used for uh, socialism. And uh, you have this, uh, uh, well, as you say, uh, this was the, the journal, the Ottoman uh, uh, Socialist. Uh, uh, a party that was the first, um, um, uh, and this is 1912. Uh, it says in the uh, capture, I, I, I can read uh, Arabic. I can both read, uh, I know both Arabic and also uh, Turkish written Arabic script. And the, uh, the and there was after uh, uh, the 1930s, there was a, also a reform in the language. I don't like that reform at all. Oh, uh, it's, uh, it's, it's uh, pur a purging of Turkish from uh, Arabic words. Through the language had become uh, too ornate uh, with words of uh, uh, Arabic and Persian origin, and then came French words. Uh, but uh, this reform, uh, which is a different subject, but Unfortunately, uh, it's adopted by the left, and they uh, just any common word uh, you'll still have in, in, in Turkey discussion. Oh, is this Arabic? Is this this? Is this that? What uh, word of supposedly Turkic origin should we replace this with? So, but I know the old language uh, well. And this is Hussein Ilmi. He was, uh, it's a few years later. Uh, it will, um, okay, uh, okay, what happens is uh, that it, uh, uh, the, the, um, uh, well, the, the Committee of Union and Progress made a further coup to radicalize the, 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 the most, na well, very nationalistic and uh, uh, right-wing uh, 
in, in a way, but still a modernizing um, faction, uh, composed of triumvirate of Enver, uh, uh, the young officer who rose to become a general, uh, the telegraph clerk, Talat uh, and, and, and Jamal. These were, uh, uh, they admired Germany, why? Because uh, England and France had formed concessions in the Ottoman Empire. Well, there was no Germany uh, before the uh, 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 late 19th century. So Germany did not have uh, these foreign concessions. So, uh, uh, it, 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 so they threw in their lot uh, with Germany uh, with disastrous consequences. And they're also the triumvirate uh, responsible for the massacre of the uh, Armenians. I do believe it's a, uh, I think it's obvious that it was uh, pre-planned. Uh, it wasn't um, collateral damage of uh, 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 forcing them to march into the Syrian desert. Well, it was obvious what would happen to them. Uh, but, but, but I know some things, uh, that's a different subject. Uh, now, what happened is uh, the um, Turkey was uh, and started to become called Turkey after the defeat uh, in uh, 1918, the surrender. And, and, and it was a very vindictive uh, surrender where it, it, well, the whole of Anatolia was dismembered. The uh, Turkey did not uh, have, have the right to a army, only a token. Uh, uh, internal mil militia, uh, gendarmerie force. Um, uh, but uh, uh, the, uh, we, it was uh, so vindictive that um, it, it was really unfair and, and, and the uh, Turkish people rightly rejected it. But uh, Hussein Hilmi, uh, and, and, and eventually, uh, Mustafa Kemal formed a rival government in Ankara. Uh, the uh, the parliament in uh, Istanbul was uh, abolished because uh, uh, the, the, the nationalists won the elections uh, and the occupying uh, Entente forces didn't uh, like that. Uh, so they, uh, uh, they, 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 uh, we forced the 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 the, the, uh, the Ottoman Assembly to um, uh, shut down. Uh, the, the the delegates were, if they ca uh, could make it to Ankara, went to Ankara, and 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 new elections were held. Uh, Mustafa Kemal uh, formed a new government, uh, and this was recognized by the uh, uh, by Soviet Russia. It was the only first and uh, first uh, government to, uh, to recognize uh, um, the government. Now, he, this he, Hussein Hilmi concentrated his efforts on uh, the uh, uh, trolley car workers in organizing the trolley car uh, 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 streetcar workers in um, uh, in Istanbul. Uh, but uh, he limited his activities to that. He did not, uh, he was, uh, he, he, he found uh, uh, the atmosphere uh, of yeah, and we, we, the Committee for the Union Progress was very repressive, that's true, but uh, so anything against them uh, uh, for him was a good thing. And, and, and so he, he, he was actually pro Antan and he supported the, 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 the Sultan remained as a puppet. Um, uh, in contrast, and he was also anti Bolshevik uh, because uh, the, uh, the, uh, the Bolsheviks were in conflict with the Entente powers who wanted uh, 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 Russia back into in, 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 in the war effort and they were well well they were just against uh, workers power um, uh, and then, but then uh, there, there's this 
uh, another socialist party. The uh, and, and uh, now, as you see, the word uh, Turkey is being used. Um, the Turkish workers and uh, peasants. Well, now we use a slightly different word for peasants. We use this more for farmer, but anyway, it's a bit, uh, at the time it meant uh, uh, workers and peasant socialist party uh, of, of Turkey. This was anti Antant. Uh, uh, supported the uh, Ankara government and was pro-Bolshevik. Um, uh, and the, uh, uh, a few months later, uh, uh, a year later, uh, uh, the Communist Party of uh, Turkey was founded in Baku, Azerbaijan. Azerbaijan, uh, 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 it's essentially the language they speak is essentially Turkish. It's like uh, English and uh, Scots, uh, Lowland Scots. Uh, you know, uh, uh, it's now a second official uh, language, and the, the Scotland now has three official languages: English, uh, Scots, and uh, uh, Scottish Gaelic. Um, uh, but it's, 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 it's really big. acts almost, it's, it, it borders between a language and a dialect. Uh, and at that time, uh, 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 and, and if, if one goes to Baku uh, these days, uh, uh, after a, a couple of days, one could become uh, fluent, and uh, quite fluent in the language. Uh, it's not, uh, there's a dialect continuum between Turkish and um, uh, and the Azerbaijan. And in fact, they were. It was called Turkish at the time. In 1926, uh, uh, the name of the language and the people were ch changed to Az Azerbaijanis. Um, uh, nowadays, uh, it's not. Uh, it, it reeks of a pan-Turkism of Turkish nationalism. Uh, 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 for uh, 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 communists and leftists to uh, sort of commune on with the, the Turkic people uh, of the former Soviet Union, but uh, things were different at the time. And actually, uh, 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 the Bolsheviks uh, welcomed this and so. Um, yeah, uh, the uh, provide that the, uh, they were more interested with, whether they were uh, socialists or communists, uh, uh, whether they were you know uh, communists or not. Uh, that was their main concern. They, they didn't mind the cultural context, and in fact, they welcomed them. Uh, and the Communist Party of Turkey was founded by. Uh, uh, a, Mustafa uh, Supi in, 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 in uh, 20 September 1920. Uh, the, you know, um, uh, and also uh, noticed that there's sort of a language change. Uh, some of the, uh, the term for party changes every now and then. Uh, so, um, uh, uh, Shefik Kishne uh, uh, was one of the founders. He went to the, uh, the this was after the uh, Congress of the Peoples of the East, uh, which was held in Baku. It's uh, also depicted in the uh, 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 film uh, John Reed, uh, although they have the uh, language over there as Kurdish, apparently. They, um, but actually, it's, it's something very similar to to, uh, to Turkish. I have been in, in I was in Soviet Union and visited the Turkic republics um, uh, just on the eve of, uh, just before uh, Glasnost and Perestroika. Uh, uh, Gorbachev was... Um, uh, uh, general had just become general secretary, but the party congress hadn't. Uh, well, uh, actually, I, I was greeted very much, and I, I liked. Uh, I found it very familiar, 
uh, and actually comfortable. Uh, Turkey was under uh, a, a military dictatorship, a junta rule, uh, and particular leftists, maybe all political activity was frozen at the time. So, um, I mean, being in uh, that visit to, to the Soviet Union was really a breath of fresh air. It was a, a place I felt comfortable in. Um, uh, so uh, uh, his activities were in um, Istanbul, and in, in, in this party's, uh, became the representative of the Communist Party of Turkey in Istanbul because they didn't, the Antant Party didn't. Of, of also banned the Communist Party. So did Ankara, but uh, we'll come to that later. In fact, uh, many uh, things happen. Now, this uh, is liberation. It says liberation and, and it says it's the organ Kurtulus. Uh, this name appears later. This uh, I, I, After this, uh, they were, uh, they, they continually, organized uh, both strikes and uh, uh, demonstrations against imperialism. They, um, their slogan was independent Turkey. Um, and then came, uh, after that was shut down, Aydınlık, uh, that means uh, sort of the illumination, the, uh, uh, the limelight, the, 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 uh, the lighted place. Uh, uh, and uh, so we, we, this name, Aydınlık, also will, there's still a, a newspaper called Aydınlık. Uh, the party in question uh, supposedly claims um, uh, the spiritual heir of Shevik Yusno, who also um, uh, uh, served for a long time as uh, Secretary General of the Communist Party of Turkey while underground. Uh, but um, uh, his politics are far from it. Uh, and he doesn't deserve. Uh, uh, well, anyway, that's, I think, will be a lecture for another time. But uh, so bear in mind, now, these are the founders of the... Uh, a, a Communist Party of uh, uh, Turkey in Baku. They, the, the, they were, uh, uh, so Mustafa Supi was a refugee in uh, Russia um, uh, at the time World War I broke out because he was opposed to the war. Um, uh, and there were also uh, Turks uh, in, in, since, uh, 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 Turkey was allied with Germany. There were uh, uh, Turks in, in Germany and many uh, 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 Turkish uh, would be communists uh, 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 participated in the Spartacus uh, rebellion. Um, and then there were some uh, in the internal. So that's basically the composition of the, uh, the founding of the uh, Communist Party. Now, these will be uh, unfortunately dead in a few months. Uh, uh, and here is uh, 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 the founder of the Communist Party of Turkey while he was a student in the Sorbonne. Uh, now, come 28th uh, uh, January 1921. Uh, uh, the communists uh, in exile in Baku are invited by the Ankara government to make common cause. At that time, uh, uh, on the order of uh, uh, Ataturk personally, a, another communist party was formed by some populist um, uh, uh, semi-intellectuals and, 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 and soldiers and, and, and also diplomats who were char in charge of contacting the, who, who, who were in charge of uh, um, um, Ankara government uh, Bolshevik relations. Now, uh, okay, so during the Ankara government, this is the uh, uh, 
political landscape. There's the Communist Party of uh, uh, Turkey in Baku. Uh, that gets banned, uh, but the ambassador of Azerbaijan, Soviet Socialist Republic at that time, the, uh, they actually had uh, the independent uh, diplomatic relations said to uh, have uh, uh, secretly helped uh, Turkish communists, uh, that, and uh, the, uh, the Communist Party of Turkey operated under the underground uh, um, um, uh, section. Uh, he, he helped the underground section. He was accused, he, he was declared persona non grata later. But uh, then there was this uh, Communist Party of Turkey, uh, the official Communist Party of Turkey, recognized by uh, 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 by Safa Kemal. Uh, and then there was uh, the Green Army of uh, 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 Etem Pasha. He, he was a populist uh, uh, general. Uh, his ideology was similar to the Naroniks of uh, 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 Russia. Uh, and many communists said, the, uh, um, Mustafa Kemal's tactics was uh, more of a, a trying to win over uh, the, the landlords uh, who, who, who were losing their land to the Greeks. I mean, the, many landlords collaborated, especially in the Aegean. Okay, what happened was uh, the, uh, the, uh, uh, the Entente powers were war weary. They, they only sent token forces to uh, enforce their occupation. Uh, he, the French uh, he, he were faced with a rebellion in Syria. Uh, in, in the Northern Front, in the, in, in, but in the, just north of Syria, again in French occupied territory, uh, a, there was a general uh, a uprising of Turkish, Arab and Kurdish, um, Partisans. Uh, the um, two fronts uh, uh, be, be being ca caught on one side by the Arab revolt, uh, the resistance of the uh, uh, Faisal, uh, who had declared himself king of Syria, but the, his uh, sovereignty was uh, not recognized by France, uh, although it had been promised uh, uh, and since France occupied. Well, the they decided to hold on. The French uh, they had this untenable, militarily untenable situation. So they struck a deal with the Ankara government and, and they withdrew from the, um, uh, the, the Turkish and Kurdish regions and, and, and concentrated on occupying Syria. Excuse me, Yusuf, I'm sorry to interrupt, but I just wanted to do a time check. So okay. We're almost at one hour into your talk. Okay. And, and um, probably you have about 15 more minutes before we really have to stop to open up the discussion. Oh, okay. Well, wow. <laughs> uh, but meanwhile, uh, the communists organized the People's Socialist Party of Turkey. It had a slightly broader program than uh, uh, the uh, hardcore a communist uh, cadre, but uh, for a while it was legal. Uh, and uh, uh, these three parties, the Green Army, uh, uh, the official Communist Party, and the uh, proxy party of the communist, of the true communist, um, formed the um, People's uh, Bloc. Uh, and uh, the, 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 it was powerful enough that the interior minister from the official Communist Party was uh, to, to elect them, but he was impeached. And for two days, a, a true communist was interior minister of Turkey. Uh, although it wasn't on, in the name of the Communist Party, but in the name of this proxy party. Uh, Mustafa Kemal, who, who respected parliamentary 
uh, procedure made an exception and uh, didn't recognize is and they invited uh, the communists uh, leadership in baku to negotiate a, a, a struggle in the uh, a, against the imperialism uh, and uh, the leadership uh, the communist party accepted they came uh, uh, to from batum uh, batumi to uh, 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 northern turkey Black Sea coast of Turkey, which was controlled by the most right-wing, one of the most right-wing generals of the coalition of the Ankara coalition. Now, he, 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 what they did is he, they aroused rebels against the communists, uh, visiting communists, and they told them it's best that they leave back to Bakio by boat uh, or, or to Georgia by boat and then to Bakio. Um, uh, uh, but meanwhile, uh, a, a, a hired um, pirate uh, murdered uh, the leader of the founder of the Communist Party and 14 of his comrades. Uh, now, this couldn't have been done without uh, uh, approval from the highest authority. So um, draw your own conclusion, who was the highest authority? Uh, in Ankara at that time. Uh, is, uh, and and he, the, the, um, uh, the, the Ankara government moved against the Green Army. Uh, the leader of the Green Army had to seek refuge in Greek lines. Uh, he, uh, in, incidentally, uh, uh, some, uh, some a few years ago, he was posthumously pardoned. Um, uh, meanwhile, uh, after the declaration, of, but, but the communists kept, in spite of the murder, uh, they, they, they killed, uh, eventually they killed the, um, the perpetrator, the pirate, and, and, and blamed uh, everything on him. Uh, so uh, officially with the communists and the, uh, uh, Soviet Union or uh, uh, Soviet Russia, the case was closed. But uh, the the communists, is nevertheless, uh, I think, correctly continued to support uh, uh, the campaign against imperialism while at the same time being uh, critical and agitating on their own uh, internally. Now, in 1924, a group of uh, the uh, new leadership of the Communist Party uh, turned, uh, left the party uh, uh, together with the archives, turned them into the Republican authorities, uh, and many communists were arrested. Uh, those uh, people, this group, they nevertheless retained some uh, left-wing ideas. They formed the, the uh, 1930s, uh, the uh, 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 the uh, journal cadre that means cadre, uh, and uh, they, uh, this was the ideology of the um, the the the, the, uh, the this was a time when uh, the, the the Kemal government uh, uh, nationalized uh, important most industry. Uh, although the uh, uh, the uh, it was at a bargain price because of the general depression, uh, economic crisis in Europe, uh, the, the Europeans were divesting. But nevertheless, uh, it's a very positive thing that uh, he uh, uh, and he radicalized uh, uh, the reform. Many. Uh, many of the reforms were legitimate. Some of them, uh, well, it's hard to call them revolutions. They're called revolutions in Turkey, but like uh, they, 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 uh, changing the head, uh, banning the fez is called the headgear revolution. I can't uh, think of that as a revolution. But uh, they, they uh, formulated a uh, third world type ideology for Kemal. Uh, and after a while, uh, they uh, uh, had served their purpose. Uh, they were uh, let go. Uh, nevertheless, uh, they remained uh, a, a force, a, a sort of a leftish 
nationalist uh, political force. Uh, meanwhile, uh, uh, mention should be made of the great poet Nazem Hikmet. Um, uh, he was forced to flee Turkey uh, in, in the 1950s and uh, died in the uh, Soviet Union. Uh, um, he, together with such figures as Aziz Nesin, uh, actually, I know this man, he was a, he's a internationally known uh, humorist, uh, at least uh, in Europe and in socialist countries. And uh, in the 1950s, uh, they um, um, did a great public service by uh, through mom and pop uh, printing shops, uh, 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 sort of satirical uh, but uh, informative uh, newspapers against um, against uh, well against uh, capitalism uh, against the official line. Here's a caricature. Here's the worker, uh, the boss, and the uh, 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 and uh, and the minister of labor uh, uh, and the uh, well, they're doing a job on the uh, worker. Uh, now, uh, who's, who's this guy? Oh, okay. Uh, he, now, he, after World Turkey was neutral in uh, uh, World War II, uh, he, he, but there was a strong pro-German element. Some of the uh, uh, official Communist Party cadre actually uh, <laughs> they became a, a pro-fascist. Uh, now, if something peculiar happens in uh, the um, uh, policy of uh, Soviets uh, of the Soviet Union. Uh, it's enjoyed a, a good relationship with, with Turkey was more or less neutral in spite of its internal anti-communism. Uh, it, it was quite favorable. Uh, it had a quite outwardly cordial relations with the Soviet Union. Uh, the uh, Soviet Union's demands uh, Two provinces uh, in the east are not particularly impressive. Uh, it's mostly mountainous uh, and, and also joint control of the straits uh, connecting Black Sea and the uh, Aegean and the rest of the Mediterranean. And of course, Turkey, uh, it's not something that, uh, it's a no brainer that Turkey would refuse this offer and feel threatened. Threatened. So Turkey uh, at that time made uh, about face uh, and uh, asks help uh, the, the, from the Marshall Plan, uh, aligns itself with uh, imperialism completely. Uh, the, after the um, World War II, there's a brief experiments with two uh, left wing parties. One is a anti uh, growing out of uh, former, uh, one is, grows out of uh, a former um, a Communist Party cadre and is uh, anti-Soviet and the Revisionist Party. Uh, uh, the other is the again we have the uh, we um you know a worker peasant socialist party of Turkey using a slightly different way in, uh, in uh, word for peasant uh, by Shefikisne again who was the general secretary of the, the communist uh, attempt to form the first, uh, 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 but uh, it, it shut down very, uh, uh, very quickly. Um, so uh, you basically, and uh, later on, uh, we have this uh, interesting character, Hikmet Kavuljumla, who forms the Homeland Party in 1956. He's a communist. Uh, he, he's prolific. He's uh, considered a master theorist, although it, when he was talking about contemporary events, I found him difficult to uh, uh, comprehend. And he had, but in spite of that, he had a cult following. He was for organizing in the army. Now, instead of organizing uh, uh, the, uh, the men, uh, you know, the uh, draftees, uh, he uh, concentrated on the officers. Uh, and uh, uh, this Homeland Party was ac actually was acquitted of uh, a communism uh, later on. Uh, 
Yeah. Uh, okay. Meanwhile, uh, the uh, he, he is uh, Shef, uh, dies in 1956. Uh, uh, Zeki Bashtamar was long a longest long serving. A political prisoner becomes head of TKP, but uh, uh, to escape the police, he escapes to the uh, Soviet Union, where he organizes the TKP as a strong but ex uh, entirely exiled party. Uh, the TKP has its own radio called Bizim Radio, our radio, but uh, his cadre is all uh, exiled. Uh, Meanwhile, uh, this uh, man, Mishri Belle, who becomes the, one of the most colorful characters uh, uh, of the late 1960s, uh, uh, goes against this. He says, look, I'm saying here, I deserve the, uh, to be running the party. Uh, this Zeki Bashtaman is uh, out of touch. And he claims to be in the tradition of uh, 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 of Shefik Hüsnü and harks back to the uh, era of co uh, uh, cooperation between the communists and the uh, 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 Kemalists. Uh, meanwhile, at this time, there is a sort of anti-Kemal uh, right-wing government capitalism is, is developing. Uh, it becomes very repressive. Um, Turkey enters the Korean War also. Uh, there are demonstrations. This uh, student is killed uh, 28th April 1960. Uh, also, uh, at that time, there's the uh, revolution in Iraq, which was a close Turkish ally uh, by the military, uh, which was close to the uh, Abdul Kerim Qasim, was close to the communists at the time. And uh, he, uh, uh, Menderes uh, becomes very paranoid uh, that, that he will be overthrown by the military, who, who's, uh, who, who find that he's straying away from uh, uh, the Kemalist principles and also because of his inflationary policy. And they have a fixed income and they lose. Uh, it's part of his deliberate attempt to uh, uh, disempower the uh, military. Um, uh, now, this uh, uh, person was uh, uh, the uh, second uh, in command in Korea. Uh, uh, Turkey entered the Korean War without the pro pro proper parliamentary procedure in exchange it was uh, given membership in NATO, which both wanted anyway, so it's not really an exchange. But what happened in Korea, they were sent to the front, to, to the very front. Uh, now, at that time, the offensive by the DPRK and the uh, Chinese volunteer forces takes place, and the Americans and the puppet forces are routed. They, MacArthur, uh, was it MacArthur? I think it was MacArthur at the time. Um, uh, yeah, well, a withdrawal, uh, a, a hasty withdrawal uh, uh, order is uh, we, 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 uh, the, we are, the Americans and the uh, uh, puppets uh, uh, withdrawn. It was a general order to, uh, to all the other allied forces, forces allied with imperialism. But they don't inform the Turks. It, the order does not reach the Turks. The Turkish forces uh, bear the brunt of the um, DPRK offensive. And at that time, um, the military had a uh, reputation. Um, there was still uh, its uh, memories of it as a, a force against imperialism uh, from the uh, Atatürk time. So uh, the soldiers were very obedient and the Turkish forces suffered the highest casualties, uh, a, a percentage casualties uh, after the Americans. And, and the Americans are saved from virtual annihilation. But so 
uh, many, uh, doubtless many officers drew the um, uh, logical conclusion that the Turks were being used as cannon fodder. Um, now, this leads to the, this man to make a coup, but he, um, the radicals, uh, and the coup is in general greeted positively. Now, there are also uh, the uh, flip side. Uh, Menderes, uh, the prime minister, uh, uh, seeing his losing vote, resorts to um, lavish government projects to please the uh, populace. For that, he prints money and uh, uh, borrowed, asks for, uh, uh, and is that when at the limit, he asks for. Uh, American aid, but however, American aid was, was supposed to be contingent on it being used for uh, uh, free enterprise, not state enterprise. Uh, so the American aid stops. Now it's interesting that uh, after um, uh, Menderes is overthrown, the American aid uh, resumes. Uh, so there is some kind of deal with the Americans. Uh, the uh, the Turkey does not withdraw the Turkey, pro, the new the junta uh, proclaims its loyalty to, to NATO and Santo, uh, but nevertheless withdraws from Korea. In fact, uh, the uh, American ambassador was harassing the, uh, uh, the chief of staff who, who had become president, uh, uh, who had become head of state, uh, was running junta. And um, for the first time uh, in, in quite a while, uh, a, in, in spite of him not being a communist or a leftist or anything, he says, look, tell this jerk that Turkey is an independent country. It makes its own decisions. Stop hurting it. Yes, tell this jerk to leave. Uh, so that's a, a first. Um, uh, so anyway, uh, so in the military, there is a growing discontent with NATO uh, after being used in Korea. Uh, and uh, the Americans in the bases um, uh, being uh, they, 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 the, the Turkish military is uh, completely out of the loop at that time of what's going on. The bases are guarded by American soldiers. American soldiers have their own uh, shops. Uh, I was there, one of the neighbors was uh, obnoxious redneck uh, sergeant um, uh, who thought that Turks were policies. Uh, the maids, the, the cleaning, their cleaning woman came to us and said, what's this man saying that uh, we should not worship idols or anything? Because Islam is even more anti-idol worship than uh, Christianity. I mean, you know, the, they were awful uh, at the time, really. So uh, there's a growing anti-imperialist absurd. Also, uh, uh, through a worker struggle, uh, uh, the workers, uh, for the first time, uh, uh, unions are sanctioned by law. Uh, the right of strike is sanctioned by law. Uh, a socialist party, uh, it is socialist, uh, um, social democratic in the organization, but uh, mainly Marxist in composition, is formed by uh, members of the Communist Party who had not been uh, convicted of, uh, who were uh, kept in the periphery, and were not, uh, I'm finishing, uh, uh, who were not uh, uh, convicted of communism. Uh, now, unfortunately, they made the decision uh, that uh, if they admit the convicted communists, um, their fellow uh, their comrades have uh, been convicted. Uh, the party might be declared illegal. It would, might be declared that, uh, a proxy communist party. Uh, uh, and the uh, man, the, uh, many of the communists have left by that time to the Soviet Union. The faction that remained uh, is held by this man. He was a, a, he participated in the uh, civil uh, war in Greece. There's a um, quite a legend about him in Greece. Uh, he, he, his codename was Kemal. Uh, 
And when, uh, so he becomes very prominent, becomes a faction uh, uh, that's against the leadership of this new party. Uh, and this is uh, sort of uh, the dawn of the um, uh, factional uh, disputes and uh, the, what is going to, to come after 1960. Okay. <laughs> Well, thank you, Yusuf. That was quite amazing and um, and, and very thought provoking. Um, I wish that we had more time for you to speak more about um, what happened later and then um, bring it up to today, but maybe some of that will come up in the questions. So, uh -huh. um, I am going to begin to call on people. Um, let me just um, thank you. Um, so I will call on people who raise their hands. Um, so the way you raise your hand, if you have the latest Zoom, which most people probably do, you have to sure. be, you have to be in full screen mode in order to see. At the bottom, there's a button on re, uh, called reactions, and one of those is raise hand. Um, if you have the prior version, um, then it's under participants. You can see a raised hand button, and if that fails, you can raise. You can try to raise your hand and get my attention by waving. For people on the phone, um, it is a little harder. Um, star nine is supposed to be hand raised, so you can try that. And um, if I don't see you, you can get my attention by interrupting. Um, but I'll uh, verbally, but I will try my best to call on people. Um, so. Do I, do I have any hands right now? Mehmet, please go ahead. Um, uh, hi, uh, thank you very much for a, a great presentation uh, of the history, uh, which is, I believe, very important. And you did touch on the contradictory relationship of the left with Ataturk, uh, the Mustafa Kemal. That still, I think, comes uh, even up to this day, like I was saying in the introduction, uh, that becomes the central point because, uh, as I said before, again, is that we were raised with accepting the official history of Turkey, which was written by Mustafa Kemal. And I'm very glad that left is now uh, discussing and finding uh, many contradictory and, uh, you know, opposite views of what the official language had taught us. So that brings us uh, to the discussion of, again, what socialism is and what mistakes did we do in the past? As you mentioned, I think it's very important to understand that the Communist Party, the, uh, the, uh, the real Communist Party that was formed in 1921 in Baku was eliminated by Mustafa Kemal. And unfortunately, Soviet Union that had, you know, that was helping both the Communist Party and Mustafa Kemal Ataturk did not raise a single opposition to this. There are many reasons. Again, we have to look at it from the perspective of today. There are alliances going on. There are uh, you know, issues that we criticize the left with. I believe, the I don't know if it's a mistake, I'm not gonna say that, but for the Soviet Union at that time to have a strong independent country at its border was much more important than to have uh, the uh, Communist Party eliminated in the process. That's why they did not raise any objections or uh, you know, made this a big deal. 
and uh, the consequences of it has uh, unfortunately painted the left in Turkey as um, like you have mentioned until 1960s and long time after that the left uh, took their position behind the Turkish bourgeoisie and accepted that Mustafa Kemal was the leader. It was a liberation war. Although today now the discussion goes that it was not a liberation war at all, but it was a war of genocide and elimination of non-Muslims in the country as Turkey emerged with a you know, Sunni, Muslim, Turkish country. And you, you put it very well that Ottomans was actually a, um, you know, multinational, although the national at that time did not mean the nations that we know today. Nation at that time meant religions. So you put it very well that we lost that multinational, uh, multi-ethnic, multi-religious form of Ottomans since Uh, like the union, uh, uh, the Committee of Union and Progress had learned from Germans, mostly Germany, but it was a trend in Europe, the new trend, nationalism. They were learning it. So with that, they said, oh, okay, all the problems of Ottomans, you mentioned, you know, they were the uh, semi-colonial and everything. Oh, we'll solve these. How? Oh, by just eliminating whoever is not like us. So just get rid of them. And I'm sorry, I'm here. Uh, but anyway, thank you for a great presentation. Thank you. Uh, well, I, I could give you the, uh, which I find really, I agree with the position of the current Communist Party of Turkey. Uh, first of all, the Communist Party was not entirely eliminated. It did have a, uh, a, a following within the country. I, I mentioned that they, they, they had the organization, they had proxy parties. Uh, well, uh, okay, the, 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 the Communist Party position, well, it was not an uh, anti-imperialist war because uh, imperialism is the highest stage of capitalism. In order to be anti-imperialist, you have to be also anti-capitalist. However, it was an anti-colonial war. Uh, I don't... Uh, it, I don't uh, agree with the that uh, they should be. And as for the contradictions, uh, that's what exactly the Communist Party says. The bourgeoisie is built on contradictions. The bourgeoisie is contradictory. Uh, Cromwell uh, uh, was a movement against uh, uh, the monarchy. It was also a movement uh, that crushed our Ireland. Uh, the bourgeoisie has its uh, inherent contradictions. It can't be uh, good on all fronts. Uh, so uh, we, we say the, the comes, we should be, we celebrate uh, the victories against uh, imperialism uh, and we uh, denounce uh, uh, actions such as uh, the murder of uh, the uh, leadership. Uh, the, it's just the inherent uh, uh, contradiction uh, of the bourgeoisie, uh, it's just the nature of the beast. There's no point in making a tantrum about it. That's basically uh, the Communist Party position, the present Communist Party position. Uh, the ones that denounce uh, groups that the, the, may make a blanket denunciation of uh, uh, Ataturk uh, tend to be libertarian, uh, uh, neoliberal uh, uh, or, or uh, utterly reactionary. I, I wouldn't. Uh, I, uh, I, I mean, Mustafa Kemal Ataturk did uh, commit uh, genocide against uh, the Kurdish population in certain instances. In certain instances, uh, there was a, a reactionary. Uh, uprising behind it in certain in instances, like in Dersim, the, uh, uh, there wasn't. Uh, again, uh, it's just the nature of the uh, capitalism, that capitalism is contradictory in many fronts. So you just don't have, a, a, a expect, don't have too much expectations uh, from uh, uh, a bourgeois nationalist movement uh, uh, support what uh, uh, 
is uh, aligns with your program, don't uh, fight uh, when it contradicts it. Uh, so you. that's. Thank you, Yusuf. Um, so next up are Sandy and Wadi. You need to unmute. Alan, can you ask, give them a unmute? Okay. There you go. So it is what the year and uh, Yusuf, thank you. This is uh, exceedingly important uh, history, uh, uh, both in terms of liberation in the Middle East, but really of the world movement and the problems that it faces and the comrade uh, uh, Mehmet uh, uh, touched on some of this. Um, at the Center for Marxist Education on the wall is a large picture of true and lie with the entire leadership of the Black Panther Party, along with one of the volunteers at the center, also there, October 1971. And uh, the... Um, so one, of course, the uh, leadership in China had supported the uh, black liberation in the United States uh, uh, following Lenin and the common turn is remarkable. But the uh, circumstances of the meeting was uh, that the Communist Party of China was explaining to the Black Panther Party about the concessions they were about to make uh, to the United States uh, and the reasons for that, uh, that they had determined that developing the productive forces uh, was absolutely necessary if they were to be successful in resisting uh, imperialism. And uh, uh, th there's a lot that can be discussed about that. Uh, why I'm raising this is that my recollection from reading Lenin is that at some point, and maybe you can tell us where, he explains about the concessions made to Ataturk. And uh, do you remember those circumstances and uh, how Lenin put it? Uh, yes, it was a letter uh, to the ambas uh, Soviet ambassador to Turkey. He uh, said, um, don't uh, have too much expectations uh, from uh, Ataturk. Uh, conditions uh, for socialist revolution are just not there. In fact, yes. Turkey had very little of a working class. I mean, you, maybe you had like the, the, the uh, capitalism developed elsewhere in the uh, Ottoman Empire much uh, quicker. Uh, we had the uh, these tram workers in Istanbul and uh, some miners. Uh, the, the Communist Party was somewhat successful uh, later on among railroad workers. Um, uh, but, but but there was a very, just very little of a wor working class uh, to make a uh, socialist revolution. Um, and Lenin says we are let aware of his how he is an intelligent man. He will, uh, in all likelihood, overthrow the the monarchy, which he did, um, because he he he, he uh, equivalent equivocated about the position of the Sultan. The, the, the official position at the time was, well, the Sultan is, is prisoner of uh, the Entente uh, the powers uh, and hence uh, whatever he, he, he is not, uh, his um, uh, orders are not valid. He, he, he's, a, he's a prisoner, uh, so, so that was it. Um, he, later on, uh, he, uh, he, yes, uh, in, in fact, he, 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 the, the monarchy was uh, officially uh, abolished. It's, it was it's like uh, the situation in Laos. Uh, the the Patet Lao recognized the uh, king, uh, sort of, uh, for a long uh, throughout the Indochina, the uh, Vietnam War, and uh, and then um, uh, uh, abolished the monarchy formally. Uh, it was a, a, a little like that. Um, uh, so that, uh, and please don't interfere. So don't uh, show a good example. Uh, uh, Soviet uh, uh, Turkish relations are important because uh, 
of, of, of the fight against imperialism. Actually, that part of the, the letter was not always adhered to because uh, the uh, diplomats at the time were also revolutionaries and, um, and they did interfere. Uh, as I said, the, ambas the Azerbaijan uh, uh, SSR ambassador was expelled because he was aiding uh, he was acting as a, the proxy for the uh, Communist Party of Turkey, uh, which he, uh, actually uh, uh, in formal government instructions he was not supposed to do. But as a as a revolutionary, he uh, things were a little different uh, in uh, 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 Soviet Union at the time than later, uh, where as you said, uh, the party diminished and uh, it was all about government. Okay, um, the next, next up is Richard W. followed by Norma. Oh, it's hard to find that little microphone. <laughs> uh, so um, uh, uh, I had a couple of questions. Um, and you sort of, uh, Yusuf, you sort of alluded to it a little bit uh, in, in your previous answer. Um, one question I had was, uh, was there any, any what, was there any uh, organization of the uh, working class in the, in the rural areas? It sounds like most of what I heard was, uh, was organization in, in the, in what apparently is the budding industrial uh, in the cities primarily. Um, and the second thing that I, I, the question I had was, it sounds to me like Turkey is sort of caught between two, between the, the Soviet Union and Germany, as far as working class uh, political uh, uh, struggles. Uh, could, you, could you speak to those uh, two issues, if you would? Thank you. Well, well I, 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 you mean Nazi Germany. Uh, what do you mean by Germany? Well, you know, I mean, uh, Nazi, well, Germany, Nazi Germany uh, didn't come along until like the 30s. I mean, but it sounds to me like, like uh, even before then, there was a struggle going on between, uh, between the, uh, the revol working class in, in the Soviet Union and, and the working class uh, in, in Germany uh, pr prior, to, prior to the rise of Hitler. Um, it sounds to me like there's, there's, there's two, uh, there's a class conflict within the class, if you will. Um, you know, the, the, yeah, I, I, I don't understand the role of Turkey in that. Well, uh, you, you mentioned several times, that, well, several times in your presentation, you talked about uh, uh, people being influenced or people going to Germany. Uh, members oh. of various parties going to Germany and or the Soviet Union. Uh, um, they, well, they, well, there was no Soviet Union uh, 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 during uh, Ottoman times. Uh, there were uh, uh, Turkish, uh, 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 Turkish exiles uh, were in Russia uh, 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 because Russia was just uh, a, a, a rival uh, potential enemy of uh, uh, the Ottoman Empire. So they, they were accepting refugees and some of those refugees, right. uh, when the Bolsheviks came, adopted uh, a, a socialism, okay, the communism. And also there were uh, intellectuals in, uh, uh, in, um, in, um, in Germany. And when the, because uh, uh, Turkey was allied with Germany. Uh, and when there was uh, the Spartacus, uh, Spartacus uprising, they participated. And incidentally, two of, uh, of my mother's uncles are, uh, were there. And uh, at the time, they were communists. Uh, and the, both of them, one is a maternal uncle and the other is a paternal uncle. They are mentioned uh, together in a historical novel. Uh, well, anyway, that's just a uh, side note. Um, uh, uh, so it, 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 it's a coincidence that there were uh, some, they weren't 
caught in between. Uh, it's, uh, it's, it's just that uh, they happened to be in Germany and there was an uprising there. Uh, they happened to be in Russia uh, and, uh, and, and the Bolsheviks uh, took over. Uh, well, could you also, the other question I had was, was there any development of the working class in the agrarian, the rural areas? Uh, well, uh, the, uh, uh, we, well, the, well, the, well, yes, well, they were organizing, uh, the, the rural areas were fighting the, uh, the allies, uh, the Entente, for the occupying Entente powers in Greece. And uh, uh, so they, we, they participated in some of the, uh, uh, partisan uh, warfare, and they were uh, somewhat uh, successful in the uh, uh, in northeastern Turkey uh, because of the uh, uh, proximity of the Soviet Union. As I said, uh, is the, the, it had a very complex relationship with uh, with the Ankara government. But 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 yes, it was mainly an urban. Uh, 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 oriented towards the budding uh, uh, working class. I mean, the sort of the peasant uh, war, uh, the example of China was not uh, there yet. Right. Thank you. Uh, it, later on, it becomes a very much of a debate whether uh, a, a revolutionary activity should be in the uh, rural areas or the urban areas, uh, those that advocated that uh, Turkey has advanced towards capitalism uh, and uh, that um, we, we have, one should concentrate on socialist revolution among uh, the organized proletariat tended to be uh, pro-Soviet uh, in the uh, Sino-Soviet split. And those uh, uh, that advocated uh, that we see, saw Turkey as a feudal country uh, or seven feudal country uh, uh, tended to concentrate on the agrarian areas. Most of Turkey, uh, 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 the feudal model had its problems. Uh, uh, the market uh, uh, had entered the agrarian sector. So just being anti-feudal was not very inspiring in the most. It, it fits most in the uh, uh, Eastern regions, which was mainly Kurdish. And that's why uh, 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 at first the PKK was a conscious, uh, uh, the, the, this anti-feudal uh, uh, national democratic revolution advocated by uh, Michel Belli. Uh, uh, whereas the tip leadership advocates a socialist revolution, said if there is going to be a revolution, it will be a socialist revolution, um, uh, uh, concentrated among the proletariat. Uh, 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 the model fits most the Kurdish areas, and that is why uh, at, fir uh, at first the PKK was a genuinely Marxist organization, and it was sort of a plan B, well, if you can't make a revolution in uh, the Turkey as a whole, uh, plan B is in the Kurdish areas where a, a agrarian uh, rural revolution and rural guerrilla warfare is possible. Thank you. Um, the next speaker, the next questioner is Norma followed by Mehmet. Norma, go ahead, please. Um, somehow we're not hearing you, Norma, even though it appears that you're- sure. Okay, thank you. Um, thanks a lot for the presentation, Yusuf. I wonder, uh, some long time ago, maybe 20 years, I was in conversation with a person from Iran, I think it was, who mentioned that, uh, I think she was Jewish and she said, oh yeah, there are lots of Jews in Iran. And so I was wondering uh, if there was a Jewish population. Uh, uh, yes, uh, uh, and, and actually there still is on the, uh, anti-Semitism was uh, weak in Turkey. So they, they, uh, they, they, there was no uh, a, a, a pressure on them to uh, leave uh, for Israel. 
uh, uh, until recently, we, uh, where now they go for uh, uh, economic reasons. But uh, 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 yes, uh, and uh, and I, uh, I I mentioned the, this uh, 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 Parvus. I, uh, I, I I forgot to mention that he later went to Germany and he, he brokered the deal between uh, Germany and Lenin to get Lenin into Russia. Uh, now he was a shady character, and uh, uh, Lenin thought of him as a, a loose cannon. Although he was avowedly pro-Bolshevik, he was not allowed to. Uh, the, the Bolsheviks banned him uh, from Russia. Um, thank you. Um, he was I Jewish. Can I finish the question? Can I do that? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Go ahead. Okay. Uh, so the Jews were not prohibited from such thing. Were not forced into money lending, lending as a uh, as an occupation. Uh, were they were they allowed to live a broad spectrum of participation in society? Uh, well, 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 well uh, the Ottomans welcomed the Jews uh, fleeing Spain uh, way back. Uh, uh, um, one of the uh, the Muslims are not supposed to drink, but uh, uh, many of the rulers were quite a, a winos anyway. And uh, a, a Jewish uh, uh, a financier from um, uh, from uh, Italy was a drinking camp, uh, companion of the Sultan, and he was hesitating whether uh, to at uh, to attack Cyprus or not. Uh, it, it was occupied by the Venetians at the time, and they were uh, uh, preying on Turkish shipping. Uh, but uh, capturing it was quite a big deal. But he said, uh, well, look, Cyprus has great wine, uh, and uh, uh, you could have all that great wine if, if you invade Cyprus, but please let me be, uh, uh, be the tax assessor uh, uh, for uh, the wine. Uh, and it was this, uh, uh, we, we, that actually happened. Um, uh, and, and, and he was given uh, the uh, uh, assessing the, the tax, and he, he, he became quite, uh, quite an influ influential per person, Nazi. Uh, he was a, a, a Jew from Italy and was uh, uh, the Sultan's boon co companion. Um. Thank you. I, I, um, next is Mehmet, followed by Jean. Uh, thank you. But I have spoken already. If Jean wants to go first, then I'll uh, then I'll come back uh, because I have already spoken. Thank you. Okay, we'll switch that. Jean is ne Jean is up next. And I've unmuted myself. I hope. Uh, well, thank you very much, uh, Yusuf. This was. Uh, really uh, provoked me into trying to educate myself more uh, on what's happened in Turkey and because uh, clearly it's very interesting and it's important. And so I need to know more before I can really ask too many questions. My comment was gonna be very much along the lines of our uh, comrades from uh, Boston, uh, Sandy and Wadi. It's really good to see you. Uh, and you know, welcome and hope we see more of you. And we'd like to see more relations, I think, between our two uh, Marxist uh, organizations. So, um, but I think it's really important because, you know, as an American, of course, we all think that, well, America has the best, most advanced everything, including Marxist theory. And so it's really important for us to understand what's going on in other societies that uh, have some developments that we really don't know about and really need to educate ourselves on these things. So I wanna th thank you very much, Yusuf, for um, educating us on what's happening in Turkey and bringing into it the international context. I, so I do know some things about uh, um, China and, and the Soviet Union, but it's good to get a fuller understanding. So thank you very much. Uh, yeah, let me summarize a few points. Uh, there's a complete, almost a, a, uh, until 1970s and 1990s, there's a complete absence of Trotskyists. Trotsky actually, the, uh, uh, Turkey was his first stop in exile, uh, but he was uh, kept a close watch. Uh, Turkey had good um, 
uh, international relations, state-to-state -state relations with the Soviet Union at the time. And at the same time, it was a very repressive against local communists. So uh, it, 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 Trotsky was, uh, he, he, he spent time on an island just offshore Istanbul. He wrote the um, uh, he, history of the Russian Revolution. He, 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 occasionally, he, he, he was just fishing, and my uh, uncle uh, from my mother's side, I, I have only an uncle from the mother's side, uh, saw him fishing off a fa uh, fashionable marina. Uh, the, my father knew one um, uh, individual Trotskyist, a, a poet or something. Unfortunately, I forgot his name, and I'll try to find out. It's sort of interesting, but uh, it's, near, uh, it's either people who, who leave the Communist Party and they form a left Kamalist bloc or the Communist Party until the 1960s, when the Communist Party uh, splits uh, along the lines of those who want a national democratic revolution and those who want a, a trade union struggle. Um, uh, also, the interpretation of national democratic revolution by Fuhrer Gates, uh, some interpret uh, uh, as a complete uh, closeness to the uh, left-wing Kamalists, and uh, at that time there were the examples of the left-wing coups in Arab countries. Uh, and uh, we, many, unfortunately, saw uh, a, a shortcut uh, to the uh, to socialism. Uh, uh, we, we via a, a left-wing coup that ended up in disaster you know, in 1971 it, when it backfired. Um, may, maybe some other time I, I, I could explain what happened after 1960 where really uh, the, the whole variety of things uh, 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 come about. Thank you. Um, next is Mehmet. Uh, okay. Yes. Thank you. Uh, a, a couple of uh, additions to what uh, what uh, Yusuf has said. There was a question about Jews and uh, what they were doing, uh, especially at the end of Ottoman Empire and uh, you know towards the end. Again, let me repeat that there were many nationalities, many religions, many ethnicities in uh, Ottomans, and as Yusuf said, Ottomans did not care. They did not care about ethnicity or nationality or religion. As long as people paid their taxes, uh, they, ex uh, you know, uh, they 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 uh, screwed everybody up as much as you know the other. But there were some uh, uh, some differences. We have to understand because that lies in the formation of the modern Turkey. Is that? Uh, even under Ottoman Empire, the non-Muslims, that was the, I believe that was the differentiating line, Muslims and non-Muslims. Yeah. And so Jews or Christians, Armenians fell onto the non-Muslim side and they had to wear different clothes. Yeah. They had to wear different colors. They, if a Turk or a Muslim was in the uh, proximity, they could not ride a horse. So th that meant that the, the uh, you know the discrimination was there, but the towards the end, as the Ottoman Empire is collapsing, something happened because Ottomans were so scared about education, so scared about the modernity because it would uh, shutter the whole system down that they did not uh, provide any education or something. But as Yusuf also mentioned. The uh, non-Muslims had closer relationship to Europe and other Christian nations. And so they had the upper hand in education. They had the upper hand in banking, trade, the new technologies, and so on and so forth. So they started to gather some kind of a force or a power in their hand because of their knowledge. Uh, let, me, let me tell you, towards the end of Ottoman Empire, nearly none of the diplomats that were sent to other European and Asian countries, they were not, none of them were Turks. They were all Armenians, Greeks, uh, Jewish, because they knew language. And at that time, it was an embarrassment for a Turk 
to learn a foreign language. I, not too many people know this because Turks would say, who am I? I mean, who are you to come and teach me another language? I am, I am already above you. And uh, you know what? So that allowed the power structures in Ottoman Empire to be exercised by non-Muslims. So in that sense, the Jews were not discriminated because they were just non-Muslims, you know, that's it. But uh, not only Jews, but Armenians also held that uh, power of knowledge, power of education, power of technology. Uh, just to remind you, when Turkey was formed after the Ottomans, there was only a handful, not even 10 factories that had more than, I believe, 100 hundred, uh, you know, workers in it. I think this comes to the question of Richard uh, asked, what about the working class organizations? So that's why, as Yusuf mentioned, the organization of the socialists was limited to urban areas in Istanbul, where the working class was, what, whatever you would call it as the working class. And the rural areas, not so much, because uh, uh, again, when Turkey was formed, I believe it was like about 10% of literacy rate. And most mm. of this was the non-Muslims. So that's, that gives a, and that also teaches us why the Armenian genocide happened. Here is a country that is being formed, but, and its eye is on the capitalist side. It's gonna be formed as a capitalist country. But then all the power of capitalism is concentrated in the hands of non-Muslims. We have to put in there, yes, there were missionary work and these missionary works as imperialist, you know, uh, roots would come into the country and work with the Armenians, with the Jews, with the Greeks, uh, non-Muslims. Uh, yeah, they had their, their, uh, 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 their side, of course. But then the Turks were saying, what if we formed a country? Hey, we, we are becoming, it's just like Trump today. We are becoming the second uh, class citizens in our own country. So we need to get rid of them. And, and the, yes, uh, the Armenian genocide is mostly killing and everything, but I, I hate to say this is like, like belittling the deaths, but it's not, is that it was a theft. It was a theft of capital. When you go to Marx, he analyzes how the initial capital was, uh, was uh, accumulated. And in Turkish capitalism, that initial capital accumulation came from theft of non-Muslims because Turks just took over any of their property and that formed the basis of Mustafa Kemal's capitalism. So um, this, this uh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. No, no don't apologize, Mehmet. Um, I'm, just, I'm just looking at the time and we have to pause a little early because I forgot to have a pause in between the presentation and the discussion. So we need to give Jean um, a chance to talk about our next programs. Uh, but I will, um, Raj is, is, ne is next. I'm gonna let Raj be the last questioner, but I also wanted to point out that Anne asked in the chat, why particularly the Armenians? So, but I'll let uh, Raj speak. Uh, now. Raj, you're muted. Alan, can you unmute Raj? Yeah, I got it. I got it. Thank you. Uh, yes, a very informative presentation. Thank you. My question is relating to the Kurds. They are almost a quarter of the population of Turkey. And you did, uh, if you mention that relationship between the Communist Party of Turkey and the Kurds, I must have missed it. But uh, in the USSR, this was a very big problem. 57% of the uh, people of uh, Russian Empire were non-great uh, white Russians. So uh, they evolved, basically Stalin evolved a policy which uh, Lenin, you know, and Stalin adopted in, and that was very successful. So my question is, uh, how did, if, if at all, communists deal with this issue? And uh, 
what uh, what prevented them from evolving this kind of policy? I know there was a shortage of workers, but that is also true in USSR. USSR was not very industrialized. Uh, to the extent it was, they used that working class, but it was largely peasantry. So Leninism does not require the workers to be majority. And um, as a side note, I think it, productive forces development, which Wadi, and I'm glad to see him here, Wadi, uh, argument is actually an uh, argument cannot be used for development of socialism. You can develop a uh, 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 different form like a state capitalism, but that's a separate discussion. I don't want to divert it. So uh, I think my question is to Yusuf. Uh, just what, we, we, could you repeat it? Uh, uh, the relationship, yeah, relationship of Kurds and the communists in Turkey, their history, success, failures. Oh, okay. Well, uh, if, 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 yeah, Mustafa Kemal, uh, first, uh, while he was uh, during this struggle, uh, he, he actually promised the Kurds uh, autonomy and he said, well, we are uh, we basically uh, uh, the ones that were uh, deprived of their rights uh, uh, under the uh, Antante occupation over the Muslim population. The, uh, they weren't really concerned with the Antant farmers, with the uh, Kurds uh, too much. Um, uh, and uh, uh, the Kurds joined, played an important role in the uh, uh, struggle, in that uh, stage of the struggle. Uh, but uh, after the Republic was declared, uh, uh, the government made an, uh, it turned towards specifically Turkish nationalism. Uh, and uh, uh, so uh, it also, uh, the uh, reactionary Kurds were upset uh, uh, about stripping uh, Islam and Islam was, uh, we, 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 they could identify, it was a glue holding Turks and Kurds together. Uh, so uh, they felt, uh, it, uh, completely out of the loop. Some were, uh, uh, I, mean, um, I we, we wanted a restoration of the Islamic rights, like she said, some were genuine um, uprisings. Now there were um, a, a general feeling, uh, a, a mistaken feeling that most of them were directed uh, at, at the service of Britain. Oh, and also the, uh, the, the, the Turks at first supported the, their claim to uh, northern Iraq was based on the Kurdish population. The, um, uh, uh, the national pact that uh, 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 more or less defined the uh, borders of Turkey is uh, self-determined, uh, that the Arabs uh, uh, were given self-determination. Uh, in uh, Arab uh, land would not be claimed by the new um, Ankara government, by, by the Turkish nationalists fighting the Antan. Uh, uh, but the Kurds uh, we were considered a, a, a part of the struggle. The, uh, the claim in uh, the Turkish claim to, to northern Iraq was based on the Kurdish population. There, there's also a, a Turkish population, but that they, and that's a, a, actually further south. Um, uh, uh, so uh, yes, some they blame the Communist Party for not uh, uh, paying attention, uh, 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 going uh, at least a portion going along with uh, Turkish national. It becomes an issue after 1960. And uh, so that's a whole uh, uh, new discussion. Now about the Kurds and the Armenians, uh, I, I came across this curious document. It's uh, in the memoirs of Sati al husri He's the ideologue he's the, of, of, of right-wing uh, Arab nationalism. During the Ottoman, uh, he was actually an Ottoman gentleman from uh, Aleppo uh, who spent time in Yemen. 
but he 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 knew uh, the Turk. He was more comfortable in Turkish than Arabic uh, at the time, and he argued for a, a liberal multinational Ottoman Empire. He was uh, against Arab nationalism and Turkish nationalism. His opponent was uh, Zia Gökhat, the, uh, the one of the most right wing. Uh, although he's a national hero, uh, I blame him uh, for uh, being a, 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 a fascist. He, he admired Mussolini. Um, uh, so he, uh, uh, but what happened is that uh, he, he that he felt that uh, liberal democracy was a sham, uh, uh, partly uh, out of the Syrian, uh, uh, the French occupation of Syria. Uh, he he went. Uh, he was uh, given the post of education minister. Uh, he, he's also considered the one of the fathers of. Turkish education. He was given the uh, in Faisal's government. Now he relates this curious, but he knew the union and uh, 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 the, the the Turkish nationalists very well. He, he was buddies with them, uh, uh, and uh, he 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 relates a conversation with with one of them, and uh, he said uh, this is before uh, the Armenian massacres. Uh, he, 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 his plan was that uh, the Arabs should be given independence. A Turkish, a purely Turkish state should be formed. Now, uh, uh, there are uh, two, according to him, there are two um, uh, impediments to that, the Kurds and the Armenians. Uh, the Kurds, he argued, uh, well, they, uh, 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 they are Muslim, but they don't have a written language and they could be assimilated and they should be assim assimilated. Uh, the Armenians are Christian, uh, they have a different uh, religion and they have a uh, well-developed uh, 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 language and literature. Uh, uh, he says, he, he, he relates to this in Arabic, uh, they should be expelled. It uh, doesn't quite say how, but well, actually that's what happened. Actually, there was a massive uh, assimilation campaign later on uh, against the Kurds and, uh, uh, and, uh, and the uh, ethnic cleansing against the Armenians. So uh, it, it, the model was uh, Bismarck's Germany, so a state based on a common language uh, that was uh, one. It was not uh, so racial, explicitly racial at the time. Uh, but, 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 but the modern state should have one, one religion, one uh, uh, language, ein Volk, ein, uh, uh, ein Reich, ein Führer. Uh, so, uh, so that was the philosophy behind it. And the Armenians were uh, impediment uh, to having a purely Turkish state. Uh, this is what he relates uh, as a conversation before the Armenian massacre. He actually he admired. He came to admire the Turkish experience. He wasn't. Uh, he didn't want to be. He felt that the Arabs should emulate it. Actually, uh, so I I I I take his word as that that's a genuine report, and I think it fits the facts. Thank you so much, Yusuf. I'm now going to call on um, on Jean to say what, he, what I didn't give him an opportunity to say earlier. Okay, and so yes, I am unmuted. And again, uh, we're gonna continue the high quality we have with Yusef and others. Um, so next week on February 21st, our topic will be the politics behind the Western campaign against Russian and Chinese athletes, because as you know, Russian and Chinese athletes have been doing very well in the Olympics. And they, so uh, America needs to find a way to bring them down. Uh, and uh, uh, Rick, who is a very uh, knowledgeable guy, he's, uh, he spoke for Nicaragua and Venezuela and Syria. And he will talk again about uh, the politics and the, about sports and the politics behind sports. Uh, after that, um, on February 28th, we have uh, um, Phyllis Bettis, who's an expert. She, she will talk about the recent past and future 
of peace and solidarity movements from 19, from 2008 to 2021 and beyond. And I think that's a very important topic and thank Sharon for setting that up. Um, following that, we have uh, Raj will speak on something related to ecology and he will give us a more dis fuller description later. And, and on the 14th of uh, March, we have uh, a speaker on the collective workers action within the tech industry. And that should be very interesting. We have someone who has been active in that. Um, and then we're, we will continue to have, uh, we have something on the history of the working class after that with John Holmes. So we have some, a series of very interesting programs coming up. And maybe um, Richard wants to say something about um, funding. Um, I think uh, Richard uh, will not be here today. So, uh, uh, and uh, thank you, Raj, for posting the funding uh, information on the chat. And uh, so going back to you, Sharon, is there any other, uh, uh, any other point we want to make or uh, it's already like 1230 past that? Uh, no, I don't have any other points. What, what we're gonna do is open this up to a more free flowing discussion. However, Alan is gonna keep time. So um, Alan, does each person have two or three minutes I've forgotten? No, we actually keep it pretty open, I think during this part, so. Oh, okay. Yeah. All right, what I think- Everybody can unmute themselves now. Yeah, so I think we should still be mindful that other people wanna yeah. speak. Yeah. But, um, uh, am I, uh, I'm sorry, but am I going to call on people or just, no, just so people fun. jump in? Yeah, people talk over each okay. other. <laughs> All right, very good. Are you able to hear me this time? Yes. Thank you. Um, there was a question uh, on the Armenians. Why the Armenians? I put a, a, a few sentences up there. Uh, I wonder if that is clear or not. Uh, why, why specifically Armenians? I think somebody asked that. So, and, and ask that. So, um, or uh, other questions to Yusuf? Uh, well, uh, Anne actually answered in the chat that she thought her, her question was answered, but okay. if there's more to be said, go, of course. No, uh, I think that was it. Uh, um, uh, one other thing I need to mention here is that socialism uh, and socialist organizations actually flourished in the Ottoman Empire, uh, like uh, Yusuf mentioned in the trolley workers and everything. But uh, something that strikes me very interesting is that the composition of the uh, industrial workers, especially in Istanbul, that was also very, very diverse. And we had a lot of Jews and Armenian workers and Turkish workers were actually lower than the others uh, because uh, especially in those industries, the uh, owners wanted people who knew how to read, write and you know, follow directions, you know, how the industry and the capitalism work. So that's why uh, many organizations were formed with the maybe having central the non-Muslim organization or people or the workers in it. And uh, uh, so that is very interesting, I believe. Uh, like I mentioned before, the uh, only 10% of the population were literate to, uh, at the end of uh, Ottoman Empire. And, uh, you know, to communicate with them was very, very hard. And uh, th th that uh, one other uh, feature here is that, again, towards the end, there, you know, the 1915 Armenian genocide was not the only genocide. That was maybe the last one. There were many, uh, you know, attacks against the Armenians uh, throughout that history from 1890s on. And uh, uh, like I mentioned, the missionaries and the other countries, including United States, Germany, France, uh, not much Germany, but France and England, declared that the uh, Armenians uh, were their own citizens. So any attack on them would be an attack on British citizens and all. And of course, as you can understand, 
this brought up animosities inside the country. And uh, so they were saying, like, Armenians were not allowed to serve in the army. So the Turks are saying, hey, my father, my brother is uh, 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 in the army fighting for 14 years, 16 years in endless wars while our fields are not worked on and we are hungry while, and the Armenians are just sitting here plowing their fields and making money, uh, you know, so uh, why are they not serving the country but getting rich over us? So that was another animosity. The other animosity was that the Armenians are mostly on the east. And so when the, when the Russians attacked from the north and they had alliances with some of the Armenians, they joined forces. So they were looked upon as the enemy within. So they, these are many of the other reasons why the Armenians were chosen as the victims. Right. Um Thank you. I, I wanted to say just a couple of things um, when, why we need to have uh, Yusuf and, and Mehmet back to talk more about the history. So we didn't, well, first of all, I think that we should keep reminding ourselves about the geopolitical uh, situation, that Turkey is the border between Europe and Asia. And um, Everything that happens in either one of those continents happens in Turkey. Um, we didn't touch on the impact on Palestine of the Ottoman Empire. And it was, of course, a major factor. Um, and when the victorious Western Europeans met to divide up the imperialist spoils, they awarded Palestine to the British. Um, I, I met quite a few Palestinians who talked about their family's dislocation from Palestine and their attempt to, um, to establish land ownership, which for which they had only documents issued by the Ottomans. And a lot of, of course, a lot of the rural, the areas, the agricultural areas in Palestine were, um, were collectively owned and collectively farmed. So the Zionists had good um, excuse for ignoring the, those claims to ownership of the land. Um, that's only one aspect of the Ottoman influence in Palestine and, of course, in other areas of the Middle East. Um, someone else should jump into this conversation. I think you uh, know the history of the Arabs around that area, right? Yeah, yeah. Well, uh, the, 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 the so certain areas were designated as the property of uh, 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 of the state uh, directly, uh, and, uh, and and the sultan uh, the, uh, uh, naturally uh, uh, the most fertile areas in Pal Palestine, and Palestine uh, is more fertile, always was more fertile than the rest uh, surrounding areas. Uh, so suppose so there was heavy uh, the, the dynastic. Um, ownership. Mostly it was a fiction, um, a, a polite fiction, uh, and uh, it, it was allotted to the, uh, the, uh, the, uh, uh, the population. Um, now, uh, the uh, Jewish state uh, adopted whatever uh, law it likes that previously applied. Uh, so, uh, ownership of the dynasty in the Zionist argument meant uh, the ownership of whoever was the state at the time. And uh, so they argue that, okay, so we, now the state, uh, we have the, uh, the Israeli state uh, inherits, uh, legally inherits all those. It was mostly a, 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 a polite fiction. Uh, and uh, and and 
uh, effective uh, ownership was uh, of the local population. But that argument was yeah, that legal loophole was uh, dating to Ottoman times was used by the Zionists to expropriate uh, Palestinian land. Uh, and and they always say, oh well, the Arabs don't own land. That was uh, the uh, the state. So legally, uh, where the Israeli state, the, uh, the successor state, has the right to it. That's the uh, the the, uh, the Zionist argument. Right. It's a lot to think about, a lot to absorb before one even comes up with questions. <laughs> uh, there was one question uh, th that uh, I think it was also again from Anne that said, so the Soviet Union wanted to use the uh, Ottomans or Turkey as a buffer uh, in between. I believe that both parties wanted to use uh, the uh, a, a strong country in that region as a buffer. Uh, remember that the British and the and the Soviets were fighting each other uh, during the First World War, uh, or, or the Russians were fighting. And Turkey, uh, remember that the um, uh, Greek army, supported by the British were set upon Turks and they started invading and everything. And what the Turks call liberation war was a resistance against the Greeks. But the, uh, it's very important and we have to understand that that war was won by Turkey, but not only for the heroic attempts of uh, the Turks, the Kurds and the, and the, and the, and the you know, Mustafa Kemal, but at that time, two very important things were going on in Greece and Britain. First of all, in Greece, communists were a real force and they were against the war. Uh, uh, they, had, uh, they had very much seats in the parliament and they held the, uh, many big cities in their hands. And in order to, uh, to, uh, to silence them, the Greek government tried to send the uh, communist uh, Greeks to Turkey to fight. And uh, th those comrades that were entering the ships to come to Turkey, they were shouting no to war, no to imperialism, no to da -da -da -da, whatever. So they were already in a disarray. They were already breaking up in Greece. And then in Britain also, there was an anti-war movement and there were huge strikes, as in Greece, the strikes were happening. So British were really very, in a very weak uh, point. But when the uh, Russian turned into Soviet Union, uh, Britain started to say, wait a minute, this communism, Bolshevik, uh, you know, tendency could spread around. They pulled the sport from the Greeks. This is very important. In Turkey, you will not hear this. But they pulled the sport from the Greeks and they supported both the France and uh, Britain supported Mustafa Kemal in their fight to have a buffer country in between so that the Bolshevik expansion could be stopped. Uh, even, before the, even before the war, uh, uh, let's understand there was a question on Germany. Yes, Turkey had a very close relationship with Germany. And before the liberation war in the uh, in the fight in Çanakkale, the Dardanelles, I think, where uh, you know the British attacked and they they weren't successful. The chief of staff was German. The chief uh, of the navy was German. I could uh, give you like five or six. The very top high levels of Ottoman uh, army was German. The only. Uh, the only officer was Mustafa Kemal in that war, and he was not even involved. The, that position had been given to the top-ranking Ottoman, uh, Ottoman generals, but they refused. They refused to take that position because they said, this is stupid. We're going to kill so many people. For what? I'm not responsible. I can't take this. Mustafa Kemal took it. And with that, I mean, that war wasn't won. It was kind of like, a, you know, like nobody won type of a thing. So 
Turkey's entry to Second World War was because of their close relationship to Germany. They yeah. took they took two ships that the British was, uh, yeah, was well, first uh, first World War. Yes, of course. Yes, uh, so. Nobody had declared war on uh, the Ottomans. Ottomans w uh, went into war on the side of Germany. Why? Because one part of the Union and the Progress Committee was saying that we need a war. Why? Because so that we can uh, slaughter the Armenians and nobody would know. It's a position of war. Everybody kills each other. So nobody will know that we uh, did a, 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 a genocide. That was, they were dancing on the streets when Turkey went into war. Uh, uh, and now, uh, after, the, after they lost the war, they call it a liberation war. But it was a cleansing, cleansing of the non-Muslims to create a pure country with only Muslims in it. And then, of course, that turned against the Kurds afterwards, because being a Muslim, that identity was not enough. Then it went on to being a pure Turkish. You know, the Kurds didn't qualify. Arabs didn't qualify. So it becomes narrow and narrow and narrow. And so now it's a race uh, thing in, in Turkey. So anyway, uh, th that was important that Greek and the Greek working class and the British working class's contribution to the, to the liberation war of Turkey was very important, but you will not hear a single word about this in the Turkish history books. Yes, also not uh, talked about this was that uh, 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 the collaboration uh, between uh, local um, uh, Turkish, Kurdish and Arab militias uh, uh, on the uh, Syrian front uh, and yes, uh, yes. Uh, as I said, uh, the, the regular army uh, was not, uh, uh, well, the, the, uh, what happened was the Turkish army was supposed to be demobilized completely. Uh, the uh, Eastern army was uh, undefeated uh, and uh, they, they, um, they did not demobilize. Uh, but but uh, the... Um, in the uh, in the southeast, uh, the the regular army was not involved. It was local uh, Turkish, Kurdish, and Arab partisans. And I said, uh, the French uh, 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 found themselves attacked on both sides of the front. Uh, so they uh, sued for peace with the. Uh, uh, they gave up uh, claims to uh, the the the, uh, the northern part, the Turkish. Uh, part and concentrated occupying Syria. Yes. Mm, yeah, the Syrian uh, 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 king was uh, actually a, a, a principal leader of the Arab uh, revolt, but um, I, uh, after uh, World War One, uh, he 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 was not. Uh, 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 displayed animosity to much uh, animosity to the Ankara government, and he said he sent this education minister uh, uh, who was close as a uh, as an envoy. Although the on Turkish side there was much uh, anti-Arab uh, racism, uh, but still, uh, still the, the um, on, on, in in the Syrian front uh, the the army was not involved, and it was uh, the local militias. Well, um, I'm not seeing anyone else wanting to jump in. Um, we don't have to go to the, to the end of, of the hour. We can um, adjourn now if people have no more to ask. This has been a very interesting, provocative discussion. I want to thank our speakers, especially Yusuf today. <laughs>
of the Niebuhr Propter Marxist Library receives no corporate funding, nor do we have any paid staff. We rely on the support of working class folks that share our commitment to the socialist legacy of Karl Marx. We continue to need funds to meet necessary expenses. Since we can no longer pass the hat at our in-person forums, please send contributions to our treasurer either online via PayPal or by check. The PayPal ID is ICSS Sunday, S U N D A Y, at yahoo.com. And the name is Richard Fallenbaum. And checks may be made out to Richard Fallenbaum and sent to him at 1225 Nielsen Street, Berkeley, California, 94706. Fallenbaum is spelled F A L L E N B A U M. To donate directly to the Marxist Library, send a check to the Nebel Proctor Marxist Library at 6501 Telegraph Avenue, Oakland, California, 94609, or di- directly or donate online at www.paypal.me slash npml. Info for information, write to, to npml at marxistlibr.org and the website is marxistlibr.org.